Hey guys, what's up? It's I Destiny. Welcome back. I wanted to yeah. do kind of a collective haul slash review um, of yeah. some beauty products from Sprouts Market. As some of you guys know, I kind of did a video similar to this, and it was uh, several months ago um, with Trader Joe's beauty products. So I've been buying a lot of beauty products from Sprouts for for I don't know quite some time now, and so I thought it would actually make sense to do one for Sprouts Market as well. So for those of you that are not so familiar, Sprouts Market, it's very, very similar to Trader Joe's. A lot of times I, I pretty much just tell people that it's kind of in the middle as far as on the spectrum of Trader Joe's to Whole Foods. So it's definitely a lot smaller than Whole Foods, definitely on that uh, smaller scale like Trader Joe's. Um, but they definitely carry a lot more beauty products. They have a massive beauty section and actually have some name brand stuff as well. So that's one thing that I've always loved about Sprouts Market is if I really, really need some bomb skincare products, if I really, really need some bomb, you know, hair care, makeup, that sort of thing that's more in the natural realm. So for those of you that are looking for an alternative to Whole Foods, something that's a little bit cheaper, but a place where you can still get amazing products, um, they have a lot of sales and stuff too, which I really love, um, you can go to Sprouts Market. I don't know where exactly um, all of them are located. I know we have them here in Southern California, but if you guys have them in other states, please comment below. Um, let some of the other people know where they can find them and shop and that sort of thing. So um, I'm gonna try to go through these pretty quick just cause I have a good amount of product, but I really kind of wanna give you guys like the pros and cons list of each product, what I'm loving about it, what I didn't like about it. Some of these products I've tried for a couple of days. Some of them are kind of like my holy grail products that I actually just went and rebought again. So I can really give you guys uh, my honest opinion about them and let you guys know. Now, a good amount of these products, this is another thing I love about Sprouts Market, a, a good amount of these products you can actually get online at different stores like you know eBay, Amazon, that sort of thing. So if they happen to have them online, I'll link them below for some of you guys that live in uh, areas that don't have a Sprouts Market. Um, that way you guys can kind of check them out and see if you like them as well. Um, so let me jump into it. Number one, ooh girl, can I just tell you, it took me a minute to set up this shot because my hair is like absorbing all of the lights that I have kind of around me right now. Okay, the first one is Derma E. So uh, for those of you that do not know, Derma E is one of those more like natural brands. They use a lot of essential oils. They use a lot of uh, natural extracts and that sort of thing. You know, they, they usually have really, really good products. So one of the products I tried was the Derma E Very Clear Moisturizing Cream. Um, this is kind of a all day, night cream, you know, whatever. And um, one of the things that I loved about it initially is when I opened it up, I can immediately smell the tea tree oil. I love tea tree. Um, the only thing is, is you, if you have very sensitive skin or if you have uh, sensitivity kind of like around the eye area, I would probably avoid this just because um, is one of the things that I noticed is, you know, in the evenings when I would use this as my night cream, it would feel a little bit overwhelming and tingly in the eye area and I would wake up and my eyes would be a little bit irritated. So for those of you that have sensitive skin, um, I wouldn't really want to try this or recommend this. I bought it because the face cream that I normally get is more on the expensive side. And I don't know what it is, but I feel like night creams, like I feel like they just jack up the price in comparison to, you know, day creams and just general moisturizers. So um, this was okay. I feel like it worked, you know, well. If you definitely have acne and you're looking for something to moisturize your skin at night that's not gonna uh, have you break out or anything like that, um, then I would check this out. All right, next is the uh, Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water. I absolutely love this stuff. I know I've mentioned it on my channel at some point or another before, but a lot of those mineral sprays um, that are getting popular now or those refreshing kind of like Evian sprays, I feel like I ended up using this instead and gravitating towards this. Now this is so ex like inexpensive. I think this was $9 for this like larger bottle. They also have a smaller one that I think is like maybe six or something like that. But I go through this so often. I literally use it every day before my moisturizer, after I wash my face, at night as well, like twice a day. So I usually just go ahead and get the bigger bottle. Now they do have this on Amazon. One of my friends, I recommended it to her. She ended up really, really liking it. They have um, a huge, huge refill bottle of this that I think is maybe twice the size of this. So if you end up really liking it, you can get it in bulk on Amazon, which I, I love. I need to do that, but I always forget. Um, but this stuff is actually really amazing. It's refreshing. If you have sensitive skin, it's great. If you have oily skin, it's great. And you just, you know, you just smell like roses all day. So I really like that. All right, next is uh, Everyone Lotion. So this brand, Everyone, I really like. They use a lot of uh, natural, um, plant, leaf extracts, all that kind of stuff, essential oils. A lot of the ingredients in here are organic, but I think they have maybe um, five different scents or blends or whatever of this um, lotion. And it's only $10 and it's in this huge pump. I go through this every single day when I get out of the shower 
And if you're looking for a lotion that's really, really great for summertime, I mean, I use this year round, but I love the fact that it's very, very light. Um, you know, you can, a little bit goes a long way and it absorbs really, really quickly. So that's the last thing I wanna do when I'm trying to get ready and rush out the door is like be rubbing in, you know, lotion for 10 minutes. So I love this one. This one's the coconut and lemon. This has become like my go-to. They have some other ones that smell amazing too. I tried the lavender one for a little bit. That one was pretty great. They have one that says like everyone lotion and it says like for men or whatever. But honestly, I love that one too. I think it might be like sage or something like that. This one I've definitely, I feel like I've been mentioning this on my channel since almost day one and I absolutely love it. It's the Acure uh, Cell Stimulating Facial Mask. This uh, mask is actually for all skin types. I think it's more of like a, it kind of feels a little bit like a clay mask, but it's not as drying as a lot of the other clay masks that are out there on the market. I absolutely love this brand, Acure. They're a little bit more on the pricier side as far as a lot of the other stuff at Sprouts and even some of the other items that I've mentioned, but I just, I love it. Like when you put it on your face, it doesn't feel super, super hard. It feels slightly more flexible. I think this actually um, has seaweed in it. Okay, I can't even close it now. Okay, this has a uh, French green clay, a Moroccan argan oil, sea buckthorn. So a lot of good stuff in this mask. And I feel like it just smells really, really good and natural. If you like stuff that smells very kind of herb-like, then I would recommend this. I think this small little one was like, I don't know, like seven or eight dollars. So definitely more on the pricier side, but I've had this for almost a year and I really try to use this when I'm kind of pampering myself to kind of give myself that little extra boost when I'm doing like my r, &R routine. So um, loved this, this was great. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on the beauty list even though I use this for cleaning. So uh, Mike actually uses this for his skin, but this is the uh, Dr. Bronner's 18 in one hemp peppermint pure Castile, Castile soap. So for those of you that are in the natural community that haven't heard about this, you really need to jump on the bandwagon. This stuff is amazing and it's actually pretty inexpensive. I think for this huge bottle, it was like 11 or $12 or something like that. And it has a gazillion uses. Like you could use this for your laundry, you could use this for your skin, for your hair, for uh, your bathroom floors, for your, like I literally used this on my kitchen counters last night and the whole apartment smelled amazing. It smelled herbally, it smelled like peppermint. It was just really fresh and clean. And that's one thing that Mike noticed when he first came in, but he uses this on his skin. Um, I'll pour this uh, into a spray bottle, dilute it with water, and I'll spritz it around the house. I'll use it on the floors and everything. So um, this is definitely something great to invest in um, if you're on a natural kick, if you really want to transition to more natural um, skincare, body products, as well as house products. But I love the fact that it's natural. I love the fact I can use it on multiple things and just pay like one flat price for a huge bottle like this. Okay, next is Desert Essence. Um, I tried this, I would say like maybe, it was a while back and I actually had this and the face wash. Uh, or this and the face wash and this was the thoroughly clean oil control lotion um, with the matching face wash as well Now um, I I feel like I like desert essence I really like what they're going for but I feel like their products are definitely a little more on the harsh scale as uh, far as natural products go and I don't mean that they have like a, a bunch of terrible ingredients because they don't they have a lot of great ingredients like witch hazel flower extract uh, calendula flower extract like they have a lot of great stuff in their products but I feel like, you know when you put a little bit too much of an essential oil into something, it's definitely very, very strong. So if you have um, very acne prone skin and you're looking for something to really kick that in the butt, like maybe check out this, but this was a little bit strong for me and I have more combination skin, which meant that my acne areas were getting taken care of, but then the more normal areas of my skin were very, very patchy and felt a little irritated. So I would definitely watch out for that. If you have oily skin though, check this out. If you have sensitive skin or dry skin, um, I wouldn't recommend this for you. All right, next is the Clear Skin Andalou Argan Stem Cell Recovery Cream. Okay, so this is the recovery cream I was talking about where this is kind of like my go-to, my holy grail. I love it. It's just more on the expensive side. I think it's $25 for this little container and this is 1.7 ounces. Oh, okay, so I love this stuff because it's a very, very lightweight night cream. So if you have more oily skin or more like combination oily normal skin, definitely look into this because this stuff is amazing. First of all, Andalou just has kick butt products like across the board. I freaking love their stuff. They're definitely more on the expensive side spectrum of uh, Sprout skincare stuff. But I mean, it, honestly, it works so amazingly. And the smell of this is just like, like, oh, it just has like this 
almost vitamin C, citrusy kind of smell and it's like the cream immediately kind of like melts into your skin it's not really really thick but it almost feels kind of like a serum mixed in with the cream I don't know it's just very very light and fluffy and it just feels amazing and a little bit goes a long way so it's like this small container will last me like maybe two months or so um, but it's just when I have to restock it I'm like oh I gotta spend that money um, but I do really really love this and this is the one for clear skin um, I think if you have com combination skin like me you can get away with using this it's definitely not only for people that have acne or just super oily skin uh, you can definitely use this in that normal skin range all right and lastly is the Avalon organics this is a the brilliance balance ultimate night cream with lavender and prebiotics okay so I bought this because I was like, oh, okay, my budget's a little tight today and I couldn't afford to get my normal night cream, so I got this one. Okay, so this one, when I first got it, I loved it. It had a very, very light lavender smell, not super heavy for those of you that are you know, sensitive to smells, which I love. Now this cream, it's really, really thick and rich and heavy, which I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, but I just assumed, okay, if I use a little bit of it, you know, I'll be okay. But I don't know, it was a little too thick for my skin. I started breaking out on my nose, which is kind of my oily area. So I knew that this wasn't gonna work for me because I, I need to be able to use something on my entire face and not just like, you know, spot treating in certain areas. So um, if you have more like normal to dry skin, I would check this out. You know, the lavender scent isn't gonna bother you too much. It's very, very light. The cream is very, very rich. It does feel really, really nice when it rubs in. You know, your skin doesn't feel oily or anything like that. It just feels very nice. You know, the drier areas of my skin felt very, very nice after I used this. But I mean, overall, it just didn't really work for my skin type. Avalon Organics also has amazing products. They have really, really great ingredients. Um, this has a lot of uh, organic ingredients, no GMOs, no parabens, no harsh sulfates, preservatives, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no animal testing. So a lot of these products are really, really just great overall, <laughs> overall. <laughs> in um you know their ethics in a lot of the products that they or ingredients that they use a lot of more organic or natural so i mean i feel like when you go to sprouts market it's just going to be a pretty safe bet you know really kind of looking around and trying a variety of different things so that's one thing i love about you know just going there and being able to shop and get like all of my natural stuff so definitely check it out if you guys want to see some of my other videos i love to review you know a lot of natural skincare stuff that i'm using i'm constantly having to go to different events and you know be on the red carpet or doing my own photo shoots and different projects that i'm working on so i'm always looking for really great natural skincare products that i can just go and pick up at my local sprouts market um so yeah i've actually some of these I actually have individual reviews for so I'll try to link those in here as well uh, but thank you guys so much for watching I like this video if you want to see more I'll be posting more as usual make sure to do well and be well and I'll see y'all later bye